Hi there, I'm Sean Wilsey, geology professor and the, uh, I guess the host of my YouTube channel and some of the geology field videos I've been putting together. Welcome to my office. Uh, it's a little messy. I guess I can give you a, a quick tour. Um, bookshelf, all sorts of stuff. Um, rocks on the couch, probably not surprised there. Various things on the wall, uh, the workstation. Pretty similar, I'm sure, to a lot of other folks' offices, I suppose. Um, I wanted to put this little video together to lay out what, what I'd like to do for 2023 and also get some of your input. So first of all, I want to thank everyone who's um, been a supporter of my YouTube channel since it started in 2020. Uh, I had no clue what I was doing. That may still show. Uh, but I was really surprised with the reception, the encouragement, and, and just super grateful for the folks that are continuing to watch, the people who comment and get, get back to me and let me know that the information and the videos and the knowledge that I'm conveying to them are meaningful in some way. I think that's a huge uh, motivation for me to keep doing what I'm doing. It lets me know that I'm probably in a pretty good sweet spot. doesn't mean I'm doing everything perfectly, um, but it's appealing to more folks than not. So I find that super helpful and encouraging. And it's just been great to see how much this has grown uh, since 2020. And yeah, super motivating. And so usually um, the locations I select are based on either places I'm just going on my own personal vacation. It could be something I'm doing with my family. So for example, uh, we just got back from a spring break trip to uh, southern Utah near the Hanksville area, doing slot canyons, going to Goblin Valley. And so I was able to work a couple videos in on that trip. Sometimes the locations are based more on um, some place that's kind of nearby that I think has some cool geologic stories I'd like to relate to you. That could be something like Yellowstone, where I went this last fall and did a number of videos. Um, but generally there'll be something that are that's fairly close to where I'm located here in, in southern Idaho. Um, but I think what I'd like to do is I'd like more viewer input on locations. Now, I already get quite a bit of that as it is. Um, and I've got people from around the world, which is just awesome. Unfortunately, I can't get to, as you'd expect, I can't get to some of those locations, at least not right now, to, you know, do a little video on your favorite little nook of wherever you are, whether that's on the east coast of the U.S. or New Zealand or in Australia or Canada, um, I, I'd love to be able to do more. And I think, you know, eventually maybe I'll be able to get to some of these locations. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm mainly focused on places I'm traveling to and in the Western US. But I, so what I'd like to do is kind of show you my plan for 2023, because I've already got quite a bit calendared. And this will include both uh, personal trips, but also places I'm planning to go. And then I guess what I'm asking of you is if you can comment or contact me somehow and let me know if there's particular places you'd like to see. Now, I think several, you know, probably a, a good chunk of you are just happy getting whatever location and geologic information I'm willing to share. And you're just along for the ride. And I think that's great. Others of you, I think, um, know some of these areas, might know specific locations that might be ideal. Uh, when I look for locations, I, I want I want a story, I want a process, I want a feature that can be readily explained, that's hopefully visually appealing, um, and that you know allows me to to convey some information to folks, and that can be in a variety of formats. Um, but that's kind of what what I generally look for. So let me um, switch the camera around here and show you what I'm hoping to do. Um, for this for this little bit here. Um, let me see if I can switch this around. Maybe not. Well, let's just go, let's just go with this. Hopefully this, this shows up okay. Um, so in so this is just sort of my, my plan for the the remainder of 2023. So in April, I have a private trip to Red Rock. That's down in Southern Nevada, outside of Las Vegas. Uh, so I'll mainly be focused on rock climbing with a friend of mine, uh, but we might be able to squeeze something in there. I've got, I've got a few ideas. So there might be a few videos that emanate from that trip. 
Uh, May is a big month for me. I have a class that I'm taking to the Big Island of Hawaii at the beginning of May. And so as much as I can when I'm not, you know, supervising students and and, and doing things for them because they're, they're my primary focus, I'll try to squeeze in a few videos there as well. Uh, then later in May in that month, I am taking a few folks to Iceland. And so again, they'll be my primary focus, but I'm sure I'll be able to squeeze in a few videos as well. I'll also be able to get to a few places that I did not visit this last August when I was primarily focused on the ongoing eruption, which now, of course, is, has ended. Uh, June's kind of an open month for me. The only thing I've got going on is a presentation on the Bonneville flood in Jackson Hole in early June. So I'm going to try to do a couple of videos in that area, maybe in the Tetons. Um, so again, any suggestions would be helpful. I know that area pretty well and I've got some ideas, but I'm always willing to entertain other ideas. July is a busy, busy month. We have a, a family and friend whitewater trip on the Payette River uh, near Garden Valley. Uh, might do a video or two there, but that's kind of our focus. Uh, then we'll be in the Sawtooth Mountains later in that month and in that region. Um, there's still a couple of other ideas and places I have there, even though I've done that area in the past and featured it in some videos. And then at the end of July, I'm excited because um, this year, this past year, I just turned 50. And so we've got a group of friends that were, were doing a Grand Canyon River trip. And so I'll be kind of laying out a bunch of stops uh, along the way as we go down through the Grand Canyon on some places we can visit there. Um, then I've got like a big block of time in the fall semester where I've got some ideas in terms of national parks and some places I'd like to hit uh, that might be of interest to folks. So there's some parts of Southern Utah I've yet to um, really dive into and do videos on. So these areas here, um, Eastern Sierras and Yosemite, which I'm pretty familiar with. I've taken students there in the past. So Mono Lake, um, uh, the Owens River Gorge, places like that. Uh, I'd like to, I've never been to South Dakota, and so I'd really like to do uh, a climbing trip to Devil's Tower and then also go over to the Black Hills and hit some of the National Parks monuments and some of the cool geologic features there. Um, I'll do a trip at some point this fall into eastern Utah, Dinosaur National Park, the Uintas, uh, Arches Canyonlands, uh, rafting on Westwater Canyon, some other places. I'd like to get over to the Southern Cascades. Again, a place I've been to, but it's been a little while. Crater Lake, Newberry, Lassen, Shasta. Uh, and then as the weather starts to get chillier later in the fall, I'll head down south uh, to where we used to live before we moved to Twin Falls. And I'll do some Southern California uh, Mojave Desert locations as well. Um, so that's sort of the plan for the fall. And I think I can fit a few more places in. So if there's places in these regions uh, that you know might make a good video, you're welcome to send me those suggestions. And then, of course, the places nearby, what I call like the low-hanging fruit, um, parts and areas in northern Utah, the West Desert, uh, areas of the Wasatch. Um, I'm looking for specific locations. I know that area pretty well, and I've got some ideas, but always looking for other locations. Um, Parts of Idaho I have yet to do videos on, so Manan Buttes, Mesa Falls, parts in eastern Idaho, a few places around Boise like Table Rock, uh, Celebration Park, and then maybe getting down into northern Nevada. Uh, there's a really cool story around Contact uh, just over the border and maybe in the Ruby Mountains as well. Um, so hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of what, what, you, what you can expect um, moving forward for this next year or so from me. Um, hopefully you can also help me out and provide me with a few recommendations, locations. Um, the more you can tell me about the location, the better in terms of what there is. Maybe give me GPS coordinates so I can look at it on Google Earth. Um, if it's just a pretty site with all the same rock, sometimes that's good enough to be a video or a story. Um, but I'm looking for places that have maybe different features. Uh, more complex relationships. I like it when a video explains just one or two sometimes aspects of geology. So rather than trying to fit it all in, uh, in like 10 minutes or so, I like focusing on one specific process or uh, feature if I can. So anyway, just a short video to let you know what to expect from my YouTube channel this coming year. Again, appreciate everyone's support. 
Um, I can't do these videos without uh, the support you provide financially in terms of getting me to these places with some gas money, uh, getting a, a little bit of uh, just, you know, living expenses covered as I'm traveling to these places. So appreciate all that you do to help me out here. This is just a fun side project when I'm not teaching classes here at the college. And hopefully, you know, onward and upward, we'll be able to uh, have some more adventures together in some of these locations. I'm always looking for ways to improve. So you're welcome to send me um, any suggestions you have on that front as well. So I appreciate your time. Appreciate you uh, hanging in there and learning with me and have a great day. Thanks.